All right, everybody, welcome on back to some Halo 2. Um, this is one of the more unpleasant beginnings to a mission. Uh, we're about to get jumped by some bugs and some elites, I think. So I don't normally like to start things off by kind of hunkering down and cover over here and kind of trying to focus my fire on these two elites that walk in. These Marines will... Okay. <laughs> these Marines will generally do a pretty good job of taking care of the, the bugs. Which will allow me to snipe these elites before they walk in. There we go. Problem solved. We still got some bugs, though. What the fuck? There you go. Have some popcorn, you jerk. Alrighty, then. So, I'm gonna give this beam rifle to you. And I'm gonna confiscate your battle rifle. I think the Forerunners built these new structures around the old. To protect them. Honor them. Pure speculation, mind you. I need to make a thorough survey to be sure. Cortana needs to make a thorough survey to be sure. But anyway, I hope you guys like the beam rifle. Because we're going to be using it quite a bit on this level. Deal with this cavalcade of jackal snipers over here. Plus we got some other bad guys. Wow, that was... That could have been better. Alright, so there's a couple snipers on this part. So I'm going to be kind of a bitch here for a moment. As we sort of... Oh, how did you not... How did you survive that... Alright, three snipers over here. You motherfucker. Sit still. Yeah. There should be another one over here, I think, too. Oh, that's weird. Usually, I thought there was, like, one hanging out. Ow. Hanging out over there. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Holy shit. I got stuck, and that jackal decided to take mercy on me. What a nice guy. He totally could have killed my ass. But no. That jackal is a human sympathizer. Alright, oh, there's two elites here. Here, get no scoped, you fuck. Oh, come on, that almost worked. Well, that sure worked. Where'd my marines go? Are my marines just, like, not with me right now? The fuck? Hold your horses. What are you guys doing? You guys just, like, keeping this area secure? Here, I'm gonna mosey you onto the battlefield, right, mister. What did you just say? You... What? Get, get your ass into the battlefield. I ain't playing. I got two lazy ass marines here that refuse to help. This is just like what happened in the last level. Where the marines just decided to like park they asses. Yeah, follow me, you dickheads. I didn't give you a beam rifle for nothing, you dumbass. I gave you the beam rifle so that you would help me, ow. So that you would help me kill shit. Plus I'm getting sniped. I have one more beam rifle round. Can I make it count? I don't even know where this douchebag is. Mr. Sniper, I need you to pop out for a moment. Where is this dude? Where is this sniper? Well, he's not shooting at me. I see no reason to meander around in this area. Whatever. <clears throat> if he ain't gonna shoot, I'm just gonna move on. Well, hi there. Fuck you. Grenade out. Very bad thing, indeed. I would agree with you, Mr. Grunt. Alright, I need to blow my nose real quick. I apologize. Give me one moment. Alright, good to go. Sorry, I was getting a little sniffly. And I don't like I don't like trying to talk when I'm sniffly. Goddamn right, Marine. Are both my marines still here? Good shit. <coughs> Alright, I don't want these guys to just be useless this whole time. Alright, we've got jackals and grunts. You guys can share that grenade, right? Yep. Oh no. I'm really glad I shot that grunt. That plasma grenade could have at least killed a couple of my marines. Did you just throw a grenade at a dead grunt? These marines are, like, cracking me the fuck up, dude. What the hell? Throws a marine at a dead grunt, and then the other marine is like, Hell yeah, you'll love to see that. What the fuck, dude? I have fucking UNSC special, special forces marines here. But they're not the special forces you might be thinking. Alright. 
We got a little bit low on battle rifle ammo. That's okay. <coughs> Damn, my throat's dry. Sorry. Sorry that I keep making throat noises. I'll try to stop, I promise. Yeah, good one, Marines. What what did we do that was good? God, there are a lot of jackals over there. Holy shit. I'll be a good girl, I promise. What the fuck, Michelle Rodriguez? Dude, these Marines are just... They're horny. They're going through all the all the emotions right now. What do you think I'm trying to do, you fucking dummy? You think I'm sitting here getting shot for my health? There we go. I don't know what it is about the beam rifle, but I just love this weapon. Like, it's so satisfying to use. I love the beam rifle. I think I like the beam rifle more than the the actual sniper rifle. Which is weird, because normally I'm, I'm pretty partial to my human weapons. I tend to like the human guns more than the covenant weapons. I still love the covenant weapons, don't get me wrong. The covenant weapons are great. They're good for taking down shields. They, they have, you know, different strengths and weaknesses as far as that goes. But Ever since I was a young lad playing Halo, I've always kind of uh, liked the, what do you call it, beam rifle quite a bit. Alright, so we're going to fight some hunters on this part. So normally what I like to do, I like to run over here, and then when these hunters come out, you can just kind of shoot them pretty easily. Wow, that phantom annihilated my ass. I... Holy shit. <laughs> Do you see how black the ground was? Oh my god. Poor chief. Alright, I'm going to adjust my tactics a little bit. I'm going to bait the phantom into shooting my marines a bit more. <laughs> Sadly. Here we go. Ow. Alright, we have one hunter down. And please die before you killed my marine. There we go. Killed him right right as he walked over to my marines. God, that was lucky. The covenant's getting nosy. I don't want to give away my position, so I'm rerouting a few stragglers back to you. I apologize. These pelicans are all the support you're going to get. Yeah, it's not like we're on a really important mission to kill a prophet or anything. But whatever, you know. Pelican shows up, I think, from that general direction. And I don't know if it's going to drop more soldiers for us. I don't think we get any more marines, but we do get some new weapons, so that'll be good. Speaking of new weapons, uh, where's, where'd that one marine go? You! I'm going to give you this beam rifle. Now we have two beam rifle marines. Welcome to the fucking UNSC Navy SEALs, brother. A gondola is launching from the far towers. Big surprise. It's full of Covenant reinforcements. Big surprise. It's full of Covenant reinforcements. Alright, I'm going to come back for this battle rifle here in a sec, but... Might as well try to snipe whatever I can possibly maybe snipe. If I can get a good angle on this guy. Alright. That wasn't quite what the doctor ordered, but whatever. Ow, I'm getting fucking schwacked here. Switch to the sniper rifle. Actually, I should have just kept up with the carbine. Got him. Alright, I think there's like one elite left over there. Yeah. The one weakness of the beam rifle marine is jackals. Because they got those dastardly shields. And the marines do have a hard time shooting around the shields. But generally, most other enemies, the marines will just sort of aimbot the shit out of them with a plasma rifle. Alright, what weapon do I want? I don't think I want to keep the sniper rifle. I definitely want a battle rifle. Give me this fucking... Give me this shit. Give me the battle rifle game. Yes. Do I... W I don't know what I want. I just don't. I want a carbine, but it doesn't have enough ammo for me to justify using it. I could use the shotgun. I'm just real torn about my loadout. We'll just go with the beam rifle. <coughs> I can't go wrong with the beam rifle. Also, was that a carbine right there? If I find a carbine over here, I'm probably going to take it. Because I... Fuck it, I'll just stick with this shit. I'm just a little bit worried because I'm pretty sure we're going to have to fight uh, some jetpack elites at some point. Maybe not on this part. Maybe a little bit later in the level, but... I know that we're, we're going to have to deal with some 
some elite rangers, I think they're called. Yay, drones! Holy shit! Get them, Marines! Rack these suckers up. That was a terrible shot. What the fuck? My accuracy is horrible. What did that guy just say? Maximus Asimus? You trying to tell me that drone's got a fat ass or something? This guy wants to fuck these bugs. I'm always trying to kill something, Cortana. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm the Master Chief! In action. Wow, they got like... They've got bugs. I'm gonna retreat. <laughs> They've got bugs with needlers. How fun. Alright. T minus one bug. T minus one. Wow, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? That sucked. <laughs> I got a really nice headshot and then immediately got headshotted by an elite. <laughs> Alright. Pretty sweet. Don't you love it when you do something kind of cool and then the game immediately, like, punishes you? <laughs> Getting a little bit of lag. This sucks. What the hell? Game is kind of laggy all of a sudden. Alright, the lag is officially buffed out, so that's good. Had a moment of lag. This lake couldn't have been formed by volcanic action, which means it was either built this way on purpose or was created by some other cataclysmic event. I'm sorry, were you trying to kill something? What kind of cataclysmic event are we talking here, Cortana? Alright, well, one of those grenades was a hit. <laughs> there we go, there's one elite. I think there's only two elites over there, so we're mostly just on bug detail. Also, I think the Marines killed all the bugs already. Good shit, guys. Uh, alright. I... I'm going on a mission here to kill this elite. I'm on a quest. Dun 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 Oh, hey there. <laughs> what a fucking... Alright. Smartest saying Healy on the planet right there, baby. Holy shit. What a man. Didn't even notice that I had snuck aboard his craft. Alright. Dude, this marine does not shut the fuck up. He's... He's... He's so macho. He's always saying something like, I remember when I killed my first covenant. I was ten years old. I was on the farm with my pa. My hands were dirty. My feet were wet. Marines nowadays just don't understand. I swear, this guy would... This guy talks down to the Master Chief. And it's like, dude. Alright. I'm not going to waste my ammo here just yet. Let's play this a little bit smarter. Alright, I need to like shoot above the shield a little bit. And we're moving, so it's it's that much trickier. Jesus Christ, alright, it's battle rifle time. I got one more shot with this beam rifle. And it really didn't do much. Not I do like to get these turrets out of the way, because they'll kind of wreak havoc on your troops, otherwise. There's two jackal snipers in there. How fun. Frag out. Watch out, marines. Don't let that blow you up. <laughs> Come here, you. Uh, uh, uh. I'm going to beat you up for your lunch money, you little shit. Yeah. What he said. Gift with purchase. Uh, what, what did that mean? <laughs> Man, I'm low on ammo for everything. I'm low on ammo for everything. Peter, I don't have any ammunition. Cleveland Brown plays Halo. Oh, we got a brand new spanking beam rifle, so that's a good start. Um, I would rather, like... I guess I'll just have to take one of these fucking... There was a plasma pistol, yeah... I have a little bit of beam rifle ammo, but it's not going to last, so... We're going to have to go in with the plasma pistol. That's pretty good. You, have one of those. I was hoping you'd run this way towards this group of them. See, kind of like that. 
All right. I think there's more bugs in here, too. So I'm hoping the Marines can help me out with that. Oh, wow. Did his shield just absorb that? The fuck? Help me out, Marines. Ooh, get no scoped, pussy. Get no scoped from around the corner. Yeah, it kind of sucks that I'm kind of stuck with a plasma pistol. And my shield is taking like a whole 10 years to recharge. Oh, Jesus Christ. I need a grenade or a better weapon. But uh, that's not happening here. We're going to have to make do with a fucking plasma pistol. I'm not overly happy about that. I wish their stupid shields would pop when I hit them with a charged plasma pistol shot. That'd be pretty good. Alright. Now we've got drones. I'm dual wielding a weapon with no ammo. That's not good. <laughs> Let's run over here and dual wield weapons that have ammo. Yeah, baby. Yeah, and you can shoot the plasma pistol so fast if you got that trigger finger shit down. Look at that. Fucking... <laughs> Yeah. I think I'm officially a fan of dual wielding the plasma pistols. Ah, now I see. Shit's kind of sick. <laughs> connects these towers to the outlying structures. Looks like we're going down. Unless you'd prefer to swim. Nope. I would prefer to dual wield needlers though. Oh yes, this is in uh, the cool underwater submersible elevator thing. So when this thing comes up, there should be some jackals in here. I'm just going to frag out. Enjoy that, gentlemen. Let it rain. All right. Everybody pile into the elevator. And away we go. These Marines are doing a really good job. I'm surprised they're still alive. I'm. When we get back to Earth, I'm going to see to it that both of you get promoted. I don't know what rank you are. This guy looks sad. He just looks depressed. You... That's Michelle Rodriguez, so she's just kind of doing her Fast and the Furious thing. Yeah. If you're playing the Halo 2 Anniversary, this part looks amazing. Ooh, High Charity. Apparently, Regret jumped the gun when he attacked Earth. He's asking the other prophets to forgive his premature arrival. Arguing <laughs> that's what he no said. Human presence was foretold. That explains why there were so few ships in his fleet. But it's odd a prophet would have such bad intel about his enemy's homeworld. Not necessarily. I mean, humanity had pretty horrendous intel on, you know, what we thought was the Covenant quote-unquote homeworld. Uh, if you're a Halo lore fan, uh, I would highly recommend you look up Operation Red Flag. Because it was basically a UNSC plan to invade the hypothetical Covenant Covenant. The hypothetical Covenant homeworld and capture one of the prophets to try to end the war. But, um, obviously we didn't know that High Charity existed and High Charity is a spacefaring, like, city ship. And that is the Covenant's capital and it is definitely not a planet in the same vein as, like, Earth or something like that. But humanity, you know, for Operation Red Flag, we kind of assumed that humanity had, like... Or not humanity. We assumed that the Covenant had their own little version of Earth that we could invade or sort of sneak onto and capture some of their leadership. And then in doing that, we could hold one of the Prophets hostage and sort of force a truce to end the war. Um, and one of the big Halo fan questions is, would Operation Red Flag have worked? Because it never actually had a chance to come to fruition. Because... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Oh, there's another Needler over here. Cool. Never mind, I did mean to do that. But... Operation Red Flag would certainly not have worked. And I'd have to kind of give you like a Halo essay's worth of information. To... Explain why, but... Operation Red Flag, just the way the Covenant hierarchy works, even their their upper cast with the Prophets and shit, uh, Red Flag would not have worked. General, I mean, okay, it hypothetically may have worked if they would have captured the Prophet of Truth. But with three Prophets on deck, there was like a one-third chance that they could pull that off. 
All right. Nerd rant over. Um, this part kind of blows from what I can remember. It's like a big room full of honor guards and jackal snipers, but from what I can remember, you can kind of bypass a lot of these enemies if you're careful. Oh god, no! Why are the marines just charging in? You fools! Okay, never mind. They can they can hold their own out there. I will I will have some more faith in the marines, dude. They're they're doing pretty well. Oh shit. Jackal snipers! Jackal snipers at approximately two o'clock. I'm glad that you said that, Michelle Rodriguez. I need moral support with these jackal snipers. I really do. I need to know that someone's got my back. Alright. I know that there's like several fucking snipers on both sides of this shit, so. I'm about to. Ow! Jeez Louise. Somebody shoot that jerk off. This is important to you, why? Probably because you don't want to die. That would be my best guess. If I were fighting a war, that'd be one of my principal concerns. Like, man, I sure hope I don't die. I sure am, right? Right, Michelle Rodriguez? I'm pretty good with this beam rifle. You talking to me? Wow, she went from, like, complimenting me to threatening me. Women, am I right? Alright. I think some honor guards and jackals show up over here. So here's what I think I'm... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to, like, migrate my team. Oh, wait, is that a new beam rifle? It is. Alright, I'm gonna try to migrate my team this way a little bit. We're going to... Try to get to work over on this side. Oh, there's more snipers up here. How lovely. How lovely is that? I'm gonna fucking sword you, bro. <laughs> yeah. You are all gonna get sorted, and it's gonna suck so bad. Yeah, there you go. That is how I deal with jackal snipers where I come from. Where are my marines at? Are they still like <clears throat> farting around over there or did they somehow die? I'm going to go f try to find my marines real quick. I kind of just left them over here. I wouldn't be overly surprised if they got killed by... Oh, they're still over here. What the hell are you guys doing? Huh. I was going to say, there's like a group of Covenant that usually shows up over here. <clears throat> I have no idea what happened to them. One thing I really hate about this room is that it's like super dark. I just can't see <laughs> when I'm in here. Oh, hey. Yeah, why don't you shimmy on back into, into view? Yeah. Also, if you look... Alright, let me, let me take care of some business real quick. I'm trying to show something off, damn it. Yeah, fuck you. Trying to show something off. Yes, if you... Maybe you have to be standing on the other side. But if you look at this hologram, Cortana usually says something. She'll usually be like, Ooh, they say I have a big head or something. <clears throat> she makes a little jokey joke. God, my throat's dry. There's the hunters. Uh... I might actually, like... I guess I can try to snipe these hunters. Okay. There's an elite over here, isn't there? Yeah, oh my god, there's all sorts of shit up there. Whoa, baby. Master Chief retreating. There are a couple hundred enemies up there. Also, one of my marines is dead, so that's not fun. Oh, Jesus Christ. Have some fucking demon flares, you jerks. I love how the elites call the plasma grenades demon flares. I just think that's so fucking cool. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. That was too perfect. And... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, that hunter is actually taking aim at me. Yeah, I might actually try to, like, dip past some of this shit. No reason to fight everything. And they can easily be ignored. I'm gonna try to hide right here for a minute, though. I think an elite might be followed. Oh, I am getting followed by something. Alright, I'm gonna clear some- Oh, hey, hunters. <laughs> Burp. Oh, come on. Don't shield your buddy. Don't be gay. Come on. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, Jesus! This is such a well-coordinated effort. Oh, my God. My hat's off to these 
these guys right now. They're they're actually coordinating a really good anti Master Chief assault. I really gotta hand it to him. Is my <gasps> Michelle Rodriguez is still alive? I thought she was long. Wow, dude, the Michelle Rodriguez Marine is kicking ass. All right, I'm gonna let her be kind of my little distraction. And oh my god, that elite's right there. I didn't even see him. Ah, this isn't good. This isn't good. This is pretty not good. How am I still alive? How the fuck did I... Whatever, I'm just gonna run away. There's a bunch of camo elites in this area, so wish me luck. Wish me some, some real good darn tootin' luck. Something tells me I'm kind of pushing the envelope with my luck here a little bit. I wonder what that could possibly be. Oh, you fucking jerk. Yeah, I get no scoped. Get fucking no scoped. Yeah, I'm a little bit filled with adrenaline right now because of that, like, series of near-death experiences I just had. And avoided them all in tandem. Holy shit. Yeah, my luck is gonna... Oh, I forgot about this guy. Would you like to get no scoped? <laughs> I was not expecting him to just drop like a sack of potatoes after one shot, but all right, I'll take it. My luck is suspiciously off the charts right now, like really good luck, and I'm kind of worried. I'm worried that we're going to hit like a terrible streak of bad luck at some point. Also, I have a really fun story about that sword elite. I'm going to pause because I think Cortana is going to start talking and I don't want to interrupt her. But one time when I was, I think the first time I played this game, I made my way through this part and I got to this elevator and I got in and I hit the button. The elevator starts going down. I look out the window to my left and that sword elite was just staring at me. He was just standing there outside the elevator staring at me. I didn't even know he existed I, I just sort of like walked past him. I didn't know he was there. And I moseyed onto the elevator. And I looked over and sure as shit, that creepy motherfucker is just Mike Michael Myersing, just just staring at me like fucking Friday the 13th or some shit. And it was a genuine jump scare. <clears throat> from when I was a little kid. Fun little story about that sword elite. I will never forget that. Because <laughs> it scared the actual shit out of me. Regret's carrier just received a response from High Charity. A very well-encrypted message from the Prophet of Truth. Listen to this. Your haste has jeopardized the fulfillment of our covenant, threatened our grand design. That you shall be spared a public display of our contempt is thanks only to Mercy and his wise counsel. Truth, Mercy, Regret. Three Prophet Hierarchs. Killing Regret should shake up the covenant leadership. But frankly, it sounds like you might be doing truth a favor. Yep, Cortana is right about both of those things, pretty much. Killing Regret will sort of lay the foundation for the first part of the Great Schism, which will obviously lead to the downfall of the Covenant in Halo 3, but Killing Regret will also be doing truth something of a favor, because he's more or less just using Regret as a tool to trap Master Chief at this point. Also, I think there's a couple of honor guards over here, so... Uh, little pro tip, if you're gonna kill elites with an energy sword, it's, it's I would usually say it's kind of an ill-advised strategy. But if you're gonna do it, <coughs> um, when you go in for the attack, hold the an- What the fuck? That was the weirdest throw of all time. Uh, yeah, back to what I was saying. When you go in for the attack animation with the energy sword... As soon, you know, when the reticle turns red and you hit the button, pull back on the analog stick. Because that will usually save you from getting killed by a melee attack if the elite doesn't die right away. And, uh, yeah, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I would usually say the energy sword is kind of a not super good strategy for taking elites, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Also, this part kind of sucks. A, there's a bunch of bugs and elites, and they all have the high ground. They've got them Obi-Wan Kenobi maneuvers. Right, I should probably try to target the bugs first. Holy shit. <coughs> That's some Covenant Hellfire right there. Alright. I'm gonna have to play this kind of, kind of bitchily. You know what I mean. 
Alright. Can I get that red elite down at least? Oh, he got his shields back so quick. What a douche. Fuck. The prophet's like back there yelling. Alright. One less bug. Oh, there's another bug right there. What the fuck? Alright. Do I have enough carbine ammo to make this work? Alright, there goes an elite. That's, that's a good start. Damn, this is kind of hectic. I'm really low on ammo, too. Alright, I need to kill the fucking bug at least. Alright. <coughs> Plasma pistol. Save the day. That elite, I think, has a needler as well. Good for him. Dun 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 dun! Time for the old plasma pistol energy sword. Oh god, that wasn't good. Who's ready for the plasma pistol sword combo? You? All right. Oh my god, there's still two elites. I didn't realize there were three. That is something to think about. Alright, frag out, frag out. Oh, that elite should have got stuck. Fuck off. Ah, I really wish I... There's a running theme in this mission where I keep getting stuck with a plasma pistol. <laughs> This is just great. This might be one of those missions that's just... Ugh, no weapons for you. Have your plasma pistol and enjoy it. This is my last run, Chief. I'm nearly out of fuel. Actually, I think this guy's about to... The first tower cluster, so I'll set down there. This guy's about to drop off some weapons. I really wanted that plasma rifle and the needler, but the game said no, so whatever. How come that elite won't blow up? Did I not just like sort of sink him with needles? Alright. Uh what weapon? Battle rifle? Battle rifle. I'll probably keep the energy sword. Hey, we got more marines, that's good. <coughs> I'm gonna give Donna this uh sniper rifle. <laughs> I'll say it, that sucked. What sucked, Donna? The pelican ride over here sucked. There you go. Better than flowers any day. Hell yeah, Donna. You enjoy that sniper rifle. Oh yeah, this is the part where it's actually kind of good to have a sniper. I'm going to go back for this... Uh... Wasn't there a beam rifle over here? It may have just been a carbine. Also, those marines are just charging in to get killed. That's fantastic. I thought I saw a beam rifle over here, but I think I was mistaken. Whatever, we'll just go in with this. Marines are still up and running, so that's good. Get these grunts out of my way. Where did that elite go? Oh, crafty bastard. Maybe the marines killed him. Oh, he ended up over here. I'm coming for you, buddy. Dun, 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 dun. Ouch, I didn't pull back on the analog stick hard enough. <laughs> I kind of couldn't, because I was in a jump animation, but... Yeah. I'll focus on the snipers for now, if these marines can do something. That'd be pretty snazzy. Come on, I got two jackal snipers and an elite in like under 10 seconds. You marines are falling behind here. Get on the Master Chief's level. I'm gonna kill you just for fun, you rascal, you. Yeah, take that. Two sniper marines. Don't call the Covenant jerks. They don't. They don't respond to human insults. <laughs> she just called that grunt a piggy. All right. Indeed, we do, Donna. We have got contacts, ahoy. Have some grenades, everybody! That grenade was kind of a flop. Alright. Oh no, Donna died! Time for vengeance! Oh shit. God, the red- I swear, the red elites are just noticeably better than the other elites. 
The red elites are just like the champions. They really are. Their shields are better. Their AI is noticeably better. They're craftier for sure. Oh, hey, Donna's not dead. It was the other Marine that died. Whatever, still sad. But I like the Donna Marine. I'm a That 70s Show fan, okay? It's like my dream to fight side by side with the cast of That 70s Show in a Halo game. That dream has come to fruition. Oh yeah, don't be fooled. There's a bunch of enemies on this thing. Frag out. I don't know why she like... Yelled a warning to the enemy about that grenade. Good shot, Donna. Holy shit. <clears throat> that jackal had a shield and everything. Alright, I need some more battle rifle ammo. And I'm going to take this rocket launcher too, because we're about to have to fight some banshees. This part is not super fun. I think you have to fight banshees and the um, aforementioned jetpack elites. Oh, god damn it. The, you're telling me the Banshee has to be closer for me to lock on? Alright, down goes one. Uh, I seem to remember one of these Banshees being, like, stronger. Yeah, like, this one takes, like, multiple shots. Unless maybe we can take it down with conventional gunfire. That doesn't want to work, though. Oh, don't you dare boost away. Make no mistake, you're getting blown up. Alright. I need another weapon. I'll take this. Yeah, here come the fucking jetpack elites. Might be able to, like... Ow. God damn it, this thing is moving too quick. Alright, well, one of them is dead. That's pretty good. And this one doesn't have shields. Wow, that was actually... That went super well. The Halo gods really smiled upon us that time. Thanks to the help of Donna Pinciotti and really careful sniper fire. We accomplished the mission. No, I want the sniper rifle. Game, I want the sniper rifle. Yes, thank you. Alright, we could probably get to work on some shit over on this battlement. Pretty sure more snipers show up and some turret dudes. That'll be fun. Also, this mission's pretty long. Looking at the recording thing, we are at 3745. So, yeah, this mission's actually, like, one of the longer ones, I would have to say. Go, Donna, go! Wow, that jackal just does not want to die. I think Donna just shot me on accident. <laughs> My mistake for standing in front of her. I heard the crack of her sniper rifle, and then I lost all my shields, so... Coincidence? I think not. Also, I think we get a bit of a cutscene on this part. Um, before we leave, I should grab another weapon. What do we have here? What are my choices? No nothing? It looks like my choices are a big bull of nothing. That's how I can take this beam rifle with. Not so. Oh, hey, why don't I just take these dual needlers with? Yeah, that's what the thinking man would do. Do 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 do. Let's go kill this stupid prophet. That's the largest covenant fleet I've ever seen. Oh the fuck. Hmm. There's high charity. Inside the temple, I kill regret before it can stop us. Truth's plan is coming together. Yep, that is a pretty ginormous covenant fleet. Holy shit. That is like literally hundreds and hundreds of ships. Plus high charity. Mother of God. That's pretty sweet. Hey, we're getting shot at. Hey, I'm over here trying to enjoy the game's visuals, and you're shooting at me, okay? Stop ruining my playstyle. Here. I'm just joking. If I wanted to gawk at the visuals, I should have played on normal difficulty. Oh, God. I'm in a bad spot. Donna, help. Frag out. Another frag out. Ooh, that landed right behind you. Goodbye. 
Oh, hi. You want my last grenade? Just for you? Signed by the Master Chief? Ah, I died. <laughs> That's what I get for talking all tough. Meanwhile, Donna was just hiding behind cover. Yeah, as I was saying, holy shit. There's Regret ship, and there's all these other Covenant ships. Busting in. Hannibal busting through! Do all Needlers busting through. Holy shit, the dual needlers are so cool. Now, people always complain in Halo 3 that they got rid of the dual needlers. But the thing is, in Halo 3, they made the needler, like, really strong. Like, uh, what the fuck? Oh my god, what just happened? Donna might have just killed me. I don't know. It didn't look like she was standing in a spot where killing me would have been possible. Ooh, can I have that? Oh, I, ended up I thought that grunt had a fuel rod cannon. I thought I was just going to run up here and grab it. No fuel rod cannon for me. I think he was just carrying a turret. Either way, he was a spec ops grunt. So, I thought he had something good for me. He did not. Alright. Battle rifle carbine combo. I can dig it. Don't waste ammo on dead shit. Come on. Come on, Donna, get your head in the game, baby. Oh shit. The Covenant fleet has launched multiple waves of phantoms. Too many for me to track. We don't have much time. Uh oh. Uh oh fuck. <laughs> me and Donna are just like putting the fucking smack down on these guys. Uh oh. Run Donna, run! Okay, she's okay. Yeah, Donna, get in here and kill some of this shit. I killed one of them, now it's your turn. Nice. Teamwork makes the dream work. Right. <laughs> the way that elite just tumbled down that ramp was was so like depressing and funny. Ooh, hey, a fuel rod. Good thing it has like no ammo though. Do I really want this thing? Uh no, I'm gonna take this energy sword. Thank you, sir. Ooh, a big stash of plasma grenades. All right, um, we're off to the races, I suppose. I think this is actually the end of the mission. We, we get to fight the prophet. Oh my god, I almost just fucking bit the dust pretty good. Again, I'm getting really lucky on this mission! Oh my god, fuck you and your plasma grenades. I'm gonna take this brand new sword. All right, so we're going to find our target right over there there's the prophet we're gonna go kill his ass here in a minute but first we're gonna take things a little bit slow and easy because there's a bunch of honor guards in here obviously to protect the prophet donna behind you i'm coming to oh god i died trying to save donna <laughs> donna no all right i have a better idea let's we'll throw a grenade at him and she still died. How unfortunate. How unfortunate. Alright, you fucking jerk. There we go. Masterfully done. Alright, now I'm gonna make my approach and try to kill this dipshit. Alright, Prophet of Regret, do you regret the fact that I am now punching the ever-loving shit out of you? I always thought the Prophets looked like turkeys. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but... Especially, like, the way, like, they're, like, decadent-looking thrown. Like, you, you can't tell me that they don't just, you know, their throne kind of just makes them look Thanksgiving-y. Ow. Oh, what the fuck? I, that was just really bad RNG. That sucks. That was atrocious RNG. I just so happened to fall right when the, that elite was, so he killed me instantly. That's fun. All right. I love RNG, don't you? There we go. Hey, Donna's still alive. That's pretty good. And I'm dead. Alright, uh, the energy sword is no longer a viable strategy for killing elites, sadly. It does not kill them fast enough. And they just kind of melee you and they kill you in one hit. Maybe if I get behind them, it'll work. What the fuck? He didn't even hit me with that. Are you serious? I'm calling actual bullshit on that. 
I don't like- I, I actually don't agree with that death. That melee did not look like it hit me. There we go. Alright. It's going a little bit better. Okie dokie, let's try this again. Fuck you and your great dickhead journey. I think you have to do this like three times and then he just kind of dies. So, is not like too challenging. Do 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 do. Also, I think you get a little bit of invincibility frames when you're on top of this dude's chair. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's the case. Hey, two more honor guards. I'm gonna frag out. Wow, that worked out pretty well. Oh, beautiful. Two in a row. Ah! Holy shit, get away from me. That guy actually scared the shit out of me. <clears throat> yeah, you're gonna kill me yourself? I'm jumping towards you. Ooh, nice jump, chief. Alright, we win. I think now that the Prophet's dead, the rest of the Covenant just kind of like... Don't... Yeah, we're in uh, a pretty bad situation right now. <laughs> Master Chief is about to be destroyed. Run, Master Chief! Dun dun dun. Sadly, Master Chief is now dead, and we have to play the rest of the game as the Arbiter. Including Halo 3. And Halo 3 ODST and Halo Reach. This is just an Arbiter series now. Rest in peace, Master Chief. He will be missed. Very iconic character. But now it's all about Arby, baby. We're going to Arby's. He's got the meat. Or he has the meats, whatever their slogan is. But, as you can see, uh, something has happened in the Covenant chain of command. Some changes are being made. The Prophets are this not too happy. Unacceptable. A hierarchy's dead, Commander. His murderer was within our grasp. If you had not withdrawn our phantoms... Are you questioning my decision? No, Holy One. I only wish to express my concern that the Brutes... Recommissioning the Guard was a radical step. But recent events have made it abundantly clear that the elites can no longer guarantee our safety. I shall relay your decision to the Council. Heretics, how tiresome. Ah, heretics. I hate them. They are tiresome. Resign to quit the High Council because of this exchange of hats. We have always been your protectors. These are trying times for all of us. Even as the human's annihilation filled us with satisfaction, the loss of one of the sacred rings racked our hearts with grief. Putting aside our sorrow, we renewed our faith in the prophecy that other rings would be found and see how our faith has been rewarded. Halo! Its divine wind will rush through the stars, propelling all who are worthy along the path to salvation. But how to start this process? For ages we searched for one who might unlock the secrets of the rings. An oracle. And with your help we found it. With appropriate humility we plied the oracle with questions, and it, with clarity and grace, had shown us the key. You will journey to the surface of the ring and retrieve this sacred icon. With it, we shall fulfill our promise. Salvation for all! And begin the great journey. Once the shield is down, we will head straight to the library. I do 
would not wish to keep the Hierarchs waiting. The human that killed the Prophet of Regret. Who was it? Who do you think? The demon is here? <laughs> Why? Looking for a little payback? Retrieving the Icon is my only concern. <laughs> What a cool ass fucking cutscene. God, Halo 2 has such a good story. This fucking so so kick ass, dude. This game is still so good all these years later. Uh-oh. I can't remember what those things are called. I keep wanting Those big forerunner things, they can really fuck you up, and I can't remember what the hell they're called. Uncomfortable silence, alright. Arbiter time, baby.